we are at a critical point in our nation's history. Equal justice for all through the rule of law remains a distant dream for many in America today. Racism, xenophobia, and hate are all on the rise, and voter suppression continues to thwart the will of the people. Our values and democracy are under attack, but the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law is at the forefront of civil rights work today, dedicated to stopping inequality in every form. Since its founding in 1963, at the request of President John F. Kennedy, we've worked to enlist the private bar's leadership and resources in combating racial discrimination and the resulting inequality of opportunity. Work that remains vital today. The area that the Lawyers Committee is involved in that I responded to initially was the election protection work. That's what really hooked me and I thought that it was incredibly important and that the work that the Lawyers Committee was doing, the network of lawyers it could access to help in this area was incredibly impressive and powerful and ought to be something that should be supported and exploited and developed and encouraged as much as possible. You know, I think the work of the Lawyers Committee is so important it, it is something that can be answered by looking right at the mission statement of the Lawyers Committee. I mean, the, the, the essence of the mission is equal justice under law. What drew me to the Lawyers Committee was the type of work and the impact that I could have working at the Lawyers Committee. I saw that the Lawyers Committee was doing important work, and with that work, they were impacting communities that are often disenfranchised and communities that don't often have a voice. If Congress allows DED to end in 25 days, I do not know what will happen to me. My mother and stepfather lose sleep every night worrying about me. In March of 2018, President Trump announced the termination of deferred and forced departure for Liberian immigrants. The Lawyers Committee was one of the only organizations willing to take on this difficult case. Within 60 days of making contact with Undocumented Black and African communities together, we filed suit. And within 20 days of the termination of the program, we achieved the relief that allowed Liberian immigrants to stay in this country another 365 days. I think this is a great example of how public interest attorneys can win a case that's an uphill battle. Not only do we have this lawsuit, but we also had a thorough strategy that involved media advocacy, working with stakeholders, pressuring Congress, and of course the Trump administration. With our various projects dedicated to the preservation of voting rights, criminal justice reform, maintaining educational opportunities, economic justice, and so much more, we sit at the nexus of racial justice, litigation, and community organization. For over 55 years, we've stood on the front lines of the fight for justice. We lead one of the most robust anti-hate and anti-extremism projects in the nation. From connecting real survivors on our 844-9 No Hate Hotline to training law enforcement and prosecutors, pushing reform in the tech sector and using the courts to hold violent white supremacists accountable, we work to confront hate every day. Well, I grew up in Des Moines, Iowa as the son of Greek immigrants. My father died when I was young and we really had no money. So just on a very deeply personal level, I think it's important for me anyway to try to do what I can to eliminate barriers to success. And I think as a lawyer, the Lawyers Committee is the, you know, the gold standard for lawyers. I've said that before and I'll say it again. And no other organization in my mind is as successful at leveraging the resources of the private bar to sort of remove some of these institutional impediments to achieving the American dream. The Lawyers Committee is, is known. It's known as a force. Uh, when, when local governments you know, see the Lawyers Committee coming, uh, they know that change is coming. They may fight it tooth and nail. They may fight it for years. They may fight it with all they've got. But they know that the change is coming uh, because they know what the Lawyers Committee can do. We've had an amazing year at the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law. This year, we've been fighting voter suppression, standing up for the victims of hate crime, pushing for criminal justice, fighting for educational equality and more. With your help, we will continue our march to move America toward justice. <laughs>